Hey there gamers, in today's video I'm going to show how to install Parsec, the game streaming app, onto the Steam Deck. Um, prerequisites, I'm assuming that you've successfully downloaded and installed Parsec onto your gaming PC and you know it's all set up, configured, ready to go. So first off we're just going to go and enter desktop mode. So if you bear with me a second while we load up the desktop. So here we are in desktop mode and we're just going to go on to the application launcher and click on that. And if we go up to the search bar here and type in Parsec And you'll see we get an option for Get Parsec. So let's minimize the keyboard. And I'm just going to select this and click it. So now let's just go ahead and install. You can see it's running through the task to install it now. Okay, so that's Parsec installed. So we're going to want to go into Steam and add it to Steam. So if we go to Library and click on Add a Game down here, Add a non-Steam game, and hopefully Parsec will appear in the list. There we are. So we can click on that and add selected programs. So let's have a quick look at how it's set up. Okay, so... Okay, so let's look at the configuration, go down to properties, and you can see we've got a target of user bin flat pack, start in user bin, and then we've got a big old launch command, so can't even see to the end of it, um, not even sure how to scroll along to see it all. Well, let's leave it as default for now. So I believe we want to change this start in path for Parsec. So if we click on browse, and what we're going to want to do is look for slash var. Apparently I don't have slash var. Oh, there, yes, I do. Here it is right at the bottom of the list. Oops. So click on that, or double, no, click on it to expand it. And I have to scroll down a little bit further to see all the directories underneath. And then we're going to look in lib. So let's expand that. Um, flat pack. Let's expand that. Um, next is, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes and I've lost my place. Okay, app, so we expand that. And we're going to be looking for um, parsec, gaming.parsec. And we're going to expand that. Don't worry, we don't have too many more levels to go. We're going to go into current. And then active, 
and then files. So I think this one, we just select files here and rather than go into it and we tick OK. So that is um, all we need for the installation. There may be something, there is, there's, there is something at the end of this line, which is uh, at at sign u and at at p, which is a username and password. I've heard that some people have problems with that, but let's just go back to the desktop and see if we can get this working. So close down these windows and return to gaming mode. Just wait a second for it to reboot. Okay, so let's um, go to the library, installed, in fact it won't be, it will be in non-Steam games, Parsec, so let's click on that and see what happens. Okay, so, okay, so let me pause the video and I'll enter my username and password. Okay, so here we are. We have uh, signed into the app and we can see that um, my laptop is connected. So let's just click, oops. Let's just um, click on this and let's um, fire up Steam. Let's go to the library and pick a game to show running. Um, let's do Fort Solis. This is really poorly performing on the Steam Deck, but um, let's see what it looks like on when we're streaming it. So for any, anyone wondering, you need to hold down the Steam button um, and that gives you the mouse to move and then you can click the mouse with the right trigger. It's taken me a little while to get used to it. So I'll just show you the settings. We might need to bring the display resolution down. So let's have a look. So here we can see running at 1920 by 1280. That's just because I was streaming it on my Legion Go. Okay, well it's not letting me change that. Let me go over onto the laptop, see if it's changeable. No. So we'll leave it streaming at that for now. You can see it's quality DLSS. We've targeted a max frames per second of 60. The graphics settings are high. If you've tried this game on um, the Steam Deck, you'll know that you're, you're literally all the low settings and you're sitting at 30 frames per second and dropping below that. So let's just go into the game, continue where my save point was. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in the game. I'm just gonna show you just a game streaming. Can I can I adjust the brightness a bit? There we go. How are we doing? So you can see we're running at anywhere between high 40s to 60 frames a second. We've got really nice graphics on it. And it will maintain this all the way through. I think there may have been an incident here. An incident? What, what 
What makes you think that? Just a feeling I have. A feeling? Or is Officer Taylor there? I'll check. So, I mean, that's just to give you an idea of how good this game looks compared to it running natively on the device. But let's um, let's do one more game. And let's just do um, Hogwarts Let Legacy. That's one of my favourite games to run. So, let's see how this performs. Ah, that's one other thing I should say. Um, currently I'm at 43% and we've got three hours battery life. But what I can do is, um, where is it? Is it this mode? What I can do is actually say, um, let's adjust the TDP because there's no reason for me to be running this at 15 watts TDP. So let's go to 5 watts. Um, and we'll use that per game profile so it'll always do that for, for when I'm streaming. Okay, come back out and let's start Hogwarts Legacy. So I used to use um, a combination of Moonlight and Sunshine um, to stream games, but if I wanted to stream games where I was streaming away from home, um, I would have had to do a whole load of technical jiggery pokery on my on my router um, and potentially open that up to some form of attack. So I wasn't comfortable with that. But with um, this game, sorry, not game, with this app, Parsec, um, you get that out of the box. You don't need to mess with ports on your router. Um, it will just connect and play beautifully. And I've tested this with um, just hotspotting 5G from my phone. So as you can see, it's preparing shaders, which it doesn't do um, on Harry Potter because they're already pre-cached. Uh, Harry Potter. Hogwarts Legacy um, on the Steam Deck. Okay, so let's have a look at the settings. Uh, just to show you, so we're streaming at 1920 by 1080. Let's not, let's see if I can move that down. There we are, let's do a 1280 by 800. Two seconds, let's see if I can expand that on the laptop. That's, oh, it's just gone back to 1080. Um, let's not, not worry about that. Let's go down and just show you, we've got NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on. And you can see it's reporting the GPU as being the GeForce uh, RTX 3070 that's on my laptop. Uh, settings wise, let's go back up here. And you can see it's a recommended preset, which on my laptop is all medium. And I've turned off ray tracing. Okay, let's go into the game. So bear in mind we're streaming at 1080, um, but it's going on to a, a smaller display and we're seeing a nice level of detail, a nice depth to the, to the, the world, it's not just popping in, um, it's playable, Hogwarts looks great, and there's not any of the micro stuttering, although in fairness I feel the Steam Deck didn't really experience the micro stuttering that I saw on the Legion Go and the Ally. And 
Now, if my friend Tony is watching, he's going to appreciate this. Oh, it seems to have... So he commented on one of my videos about me just running and doing this all the time, so it wouldn't be a Hogwarts Legacy video for Tony if I didn't do this. Okay, so as you can see, it plays really smoothly. The graphics fidelity is much better than what you can achieve on the Steam Deck natively. And that's where I think game streaming is going to really help out these devices, is that as games come along that you just can't quite get play on the device. So already I'm thinking Alan Wake 2, um, Avatar Frontiers of Pand Pandora. If they can't be played on the device, you're going to miss out. But at least this way, if you do have a, a, a machine you can borrow the power from, then Parsec is a really good solution to that. So once again, really appreciate it if you've watched uh, for watching this video, and I'll speak to you soon.